project that I titled Outer Space Chalk Landscape. Please grab some of the supplies that you'll need from the supply table. A sheet of black paper, white paper, the learning guide packet, scissors, chalk, and towel. All of these supplies are placed on the supply table. Take one of each. People use stencils for all kinds of things. Like when you think about stencils of letters to make on posters, um, letters are used on, common for making stencils, but this is another example of a stencil. So I cut out a piece of paper and I made it a heart shape inside. So now when I apply paint or chalk or color of some sort, then I would color that in and then when I remove my stencil, I would get a heart shape on there. So, I mean, I'm sure you've used stencils before, but now we have an even better idea of what a stencil is and how it can be used. So on your white piece of paper then today, I want you to go ahead and start making your own stencil. But instead of a stencil like a shape, I want you to make stencils in the lines of a landscape. So um, if you think about lines of a landscape and you look out your window or look out the classroom window, um, you would see like different sections. So maybe you want to make some mountains in your landscape, or maybe you want to make a bumpy line in your landscape, or maybe you want to make a wavy line in your landscape. So these are just three simple lines that go across the paper, and um, I want you to label it B, M, F. Now that I've labeled B, M, and F onto those three lines, I wanted to take a moment and talk about what not to do, a non-example of those three lines. So on the back side, please do not do this. I don't want your lines to touch the top and the, of your um, white paper. Um, then it's gonna come apart. Your stencil will fall apart. But another non-example is somebody that's making zigzag lines that are itty bitty, oops, close together because not only is that gonna take a really long time to draw, but it's gonna take a really long time to cut out. So this is another non-example. And the third non-example is to stop, right here in the middle. That's a non-example. I want you to go ahead and go all the way to the other side of the paper. So we don't get them to the top, we don't make them itty bitty small, and they have to go all the way across this side of the paper. Okay, so um, those are our steps to get started on making our stencil, nice and big all the way across and they don't touch the top or bottom of the paper. All right, we're ready to move on to the next step then. Now that I've got my stencil made, so I'm gonna set these aside for a minute and just use the very top one, the very top section underneath my black piece of paper. It'll look something like this. On your black piece of paper, go ahead and take a minute to grab a piece of chalk and write your name right here at the top. Foxen and then 4P or 4D, whichever your teacher's name is would go right after the four. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, piece of paper and I'm gonna apply some chalk. When you apply your chalk, again, this is a quick step. It should not take very long. You're gonna put your chalk on like so. And then, once you've got your chalk on there, place it onto your black paper. Take your towel and brush the chalk dust down. Notice that this hand, the left hand that I'm using, is going to hold my stencil in place while my right hand brushes the chalk dust down onto the paper.
then um, when your chalks are placed on nice and neat in the box, they fit on with the lid stacked up on, back onto the supply table. When your chalk project has lots of dust onto your um, table or onto the project, it's important not to blow it into the rest of the table because otherwise people are going to breathe it and that's not very healthy. So just take your project, if it's got a lot of dust on it, you can just shake it off into the garbage can. You can tap it onto your table and then wipe it up with a sponge. But you wanna do some things that um, will not make it uncomfortable or unsafe for people to breathe this chalk dust. And we'll be ready to move on um, to the next part of this assignment next time. So thanks for watching today's first video about applying chalk putting on chalk dust, um, and using a stencil. And I look forward to um, doing more.